Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome to well welcome back to my channel first things first and today is a Saturday and it was supposed to be a steep paint drawing day as usual but since Inktober just ended and I did mention this in my last Inktober video that today is gonna be a sketchbook tour slash flip through and I'll be covering everything that I did during Inktober. I'd provide some feedback and just comments of on the pieces. So there's a sketchup I'm using for now, or rather until I fill it up. So Inktober did a good one fourth of the sketchbook. Yeah, it's it's pretty thick. And then it's saturated. So. so the cover I didn't do this for Inktober. This was done. When I got the notebook and the cover was white, so I just decided to draw a cover since I had fun doing that type of thing. And I used the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pens for it, and I came up with this. Right, so this section cover was done on the day before October 1st, which is probably a. What was. Huh? Yeah. It was September 30th and I decided to do a section cover just to make it look nice and I was testing out how this paper would react to my pet artist pens and my fine liner so I got a fair idea of how my materials would work before the actual challenge. So day one was fast and the goal here was that I wanted to create motion and tension using the background and colors without really using a super action-y pose for the character. So I did a person running and used the background to create this restrictive running away from something feel. Hence, fast. Day 2 was noisy and I used the stippling technique, which is also called pointillism, to create that noisy effect, that grainy, staticky effect. And it took me a while to finish it, and it really hurt my hand after, especially here along the wrist. But it was pretty much... it was pretty worth it, I think. Day 3 was collect or collection, and I... what was it? It was collect. And the concept here was some people have a tendency to collect like perfume bottles, and I collect art materials and notebooks and stuff like that. So I decided to well, draw that out, except I wasn't really super versed with the perfume bottle, so I included anything and everything that you could possibly collect. Day 4 was hunger, but I didn't really properly illustrate that out, so I went with the model pose instead and then focused on that instead, and used a red fine liner to display around. Day 5 was sad or sadness. Yeah, it was sad. So I wanted to use perspective and really deep shadows and different tones of grays and blacks to create the mood of the piece. Day 6 was hidden and I wanted to keep on playing with perspective so I did this sort of fish eye looking thing but not really. And it turned out okay. Day 7? What did I say that's set? If this day 6, this is day 7, um, I was playing Love Life School Idol Festival and it, the game updated to include the Akura side but my favorite girl in the Muse side is Unisonada so I did a fan out of her even though the hair is a tiny bit wrong, her bangs, are, her bangs is wrong but that's okay. Day 8 is my original character and I wanted to do a cool looking pose but he's just standing and to create that cool tension, I made the horizon slanted. Day 9 is actually a chart again, which I need! I did not prepare beforehand. But yeah, right. So this is a chart again. I used the Dermot Intense Pencils and the Faber Castle Pet Artist Pants. And I saw it on Facebook. The timeline thing where it tells you on this day you posted this so on and so forth. And I was looking through that. And I saw that piece and I said, oh, I want to do that again. Okay, this. 
So this was done in 2011, this was done in 2016, both on October 9. So you can see that the proportions are different, the head ratio to the body is different, his arms and legs and wrists and ankles are actually existing. Um, the way he's sitting now more indicates that he is sitting and I'm pretty proud of the achievement or the improvement from 2011 to 2016. I still could go a long way but it's definitely something. Day 10 is my avatar from God Eater 2 Rage Burst on Steam or PS4 or PS Vita. Either way, um, this is my character, a guy, right? I know. Um, I just want to draw my avatar. Check it out, it's pretty fun. It's like Monster Hunter. Uh, either way, day 12 was when I saw on Facebook um, there was this post circulating of an illustration of men in suits and that inspired me to draw a woman in a suit which is my life goal to go to work in a suit because that's hella cool and powerful I think oh that's the 11 day 12 is this day 12 I kind of lost some steam in the sense that I didn't know what to draw I just wanted to draw to get it done and not feel the challenge so I just let my hand do its work without much really passion into it. Day 13 even more so. The proportions are a bit wrong. Especially this part, this part is a bit wrong. Uh, and I just got tired. So on day 14, I decided to do something different. To kind of make, to, to refresh my passion or my motivation to keep on doing this thing. So I have a book here called Shrines of Power. It's deep in my shelves, I'm not gonna get it anymore. But it's a book that, it's an art architectural feature book thing. And it has churches and temples and stuff like that. And a lot of really cool pictures. So I referenced this off of that. Took some liberties with the background, but I like how it turned out since I think I'm starting to get tired of drawing people and characters. So I was right, on day 15, I was back into it again. I drew another character. And it turned out better than the ones before that. Day 16, um, I noticed that when I do certain art, it's, that's not for Inktober, the lines have a tendency to look better than the Inktober ones, so I resolved myself to draw just pure lines for a few days, and it turned out pretty nice. Um, that's just carried over to day 17, and I wanted to play with perspective and posing and motion with just clothes and hair. The 18 was a chill day, I didn't really feel like drawing. And the, th the concept here was I wanted to draw something like a candid photo in on Instagram. Day 19 is another draft again. If you watch the video for this, um, I included in the video the original piece from how many years ago. And yeah. Day 18 is the uh, 20. Day 20 is the same. It's another joint again. They're in the same video. I just watched that. Day 21 was an experiment on the body, I guess. Because I wanted to draw someone like holding out and stretching their hand like this. I didn't really fully achieve that, but I did get to draw the fingers pretty well. So I guess that's what I learned from it. Day 22 was a let my hand do what it wants day. So I drew a face, experimented with using a different color for shadowing with traditional work, especially markers, I'm not used to that. And he kind of looks like Link from Legend of Zelda, or the colors at least. Day, 20, day 23 was when I decided to use the Faber Castle Pit Artist pens to line the drawing, since I keep on using the fine liners, but you can actually use the brush pens to line your drawing. That's what I did. I used a reference photo from fashion modeling. 24 was a meh day. Just wanted to draw this character again. The hips are a bit too wide. It should be more like that, but whatever. Day 25, I bought a brush pen from Fully Booked called Tokyo Finds. It's more or less a rip-off of 
um, Basakura Micron ones, but it's in sepia, which I was looking for in fine leather or brush pen. So I grabbed it anyway. So I was testing it out here. Decided to decided that I'm not so familiar with brush pens. I was gonna play with it for a few more days. So I was doing the I was alternating between the Tokyo Flight and the Sakura brush pen just to get the good feel of how they work. So it's a knight, so a witch and knight of fairy inspired by Granny the Heel from Witch and a merman or androgynous mer person because I'm not even sure myself. Sadly the ink smudged but I was using the brush pen and the fine liner together to create details and line it and yada yada yada. So this is the last three pieces for Inktober and I decided to put in a bit more effort in terms of adding more colors, being more deliberate with my lines, having a bit more composition into it. And I'm still keeping to the Halloween theme that I started with The Witch. So all of these is leading up to Halloween. So there's a cat girl, use the Faber Castle bit artist pants as usual, since I didn't really use much else. And it turned out okay, but at first it was supposed to be a girl or a cat girl with her chin on her arms. And then when I added the body, it turned out to be very seductive and sexy and like, whoa there, I wasn't expecting that. So to continue that, into day 30, I did a succubus and I just wanted to draw her with really fluffy, voluminous hair. And then when I was coloring in, I decided, oh hey, let's color in the eyes and the lips. And I chose this really eye-catching colors and I wasn't expecting it to be that eye-catching. It turned out great, but I didn't expect that kind of effect. So I added in a bit more color to her hair just to add more finish to it. So day 31 is the last, but no, definitely not the least. I put in the most effort after the entire month into day 31. And I was missing, I already missed coloring stuff in watercolor. So I decided to do a fully colored piece, and since the last two days was very sexy and seductive characters, um, I decided to do a very angelic piece this time. So the concept here was that she was supposed to be this kind of guardian of the gates of heaven, and yeah, I really like drawing and coloring gold. Uh, I used the Faber Castle 48 classic colored pencils for this and the petty markers again as usual. And it, it turned out pretty great. <laughs> I missed coloring and I was experimenting a little with using different colors for shadows. Her hair was originally very violet and lilac-y, like this color-ish. But I added in, I think, orange and yellow. and it kind of made it a bit grayish, which was pretty cool. I didn't expect it to turn out that way. So I really like how day 31 ended and it really wrapped up Inktober nicely. So I know I'm not the best artist, I have a long way to go, but I feel like Inktober made me more confident with my lines, a bit more deliberate with my lines. Um, it also just made me experiment in general and forced me to draw on days that I didn't really feel like drawing. Even though I usually do draw these times, kinds of things, but it made me pay more attention to background, motion, posing, and what it could do for a piece. So yeah, it, yay! I finished Inktober, and I didn't really improve in leaps and bounds, but I think I did pretty well. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit long. It's 15 minutes almost. And maybe I might do it again next year. So please follow me and, or wait. Please like if you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe. I do a lot of fan art, um, character designing, original art, just drawing in general. And Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and I'll see you around.